Just took it out for a cruise. It was pretty cool. <gasps> Having the gas tank on. The bike felt complete. It just really gives it an old school vibe on it, I think. Now it just needs a paint job. Uh, I'm going to wait on the paint job. I notice when I'm going to stop and I'm accelerating, when the motor shakes, a uh, gas leaks here. I'm going to find a plug and see if that stops the leaking, unless the leaking's happening on the threads, which gas is right here, but it could be from here falling. But, uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to paint it, and then this takes off all the paint, unless I'm going to go with, uh, like, a vintage rustic look and that's the case uh try color match the rust and blend it in make it look all complete original but uh i wanted to make it look more like a like a restoration style uh board track with a newer style engine you know but uh we'll see how i, I take it uh i felt cool you know like this has way much power than this like this right here gets about 30 shit like 33 34 miles 33 34 has no porting had no port work uh stock style carburetor and all that uh i'm keeping this one as stock as possible this is just going to keep it uh for an everyday rider uh everything on there is pretty solid but this one here is more for like racing style or aesthetic looks as well not just aesthetic looks also uh functionality uh like i said this one right here it could hit 50 miles an hour no problem uh, uh i'm gonna probably have to do an update video showing the speed because uh you know people on youtube they think oh you you said that number i'll prove it well you could just tell anybody with a minerality conversion on the china uh engine uh they're they're doing around 50 miles an hour uh i'm not bullshitting you uh but this has so much torque compared to that like this has giddy up and go you know like if you don't if you're not careful you will probably fall off or hurt yourself uh i'm happy knowing that the gas tank doesn't leak on any of my welds because if it did the paint would have been coming off already which is not so all that's good the only part that paint did came off was about right here as you can see and that's just paint melting that's why i didn't went with uh bondo because bondo would have fl flaked off i went with the fiber bondo it's like fiberglass but also mixed with some bondo in there so uh that keeps it pretty good for gas i guess and you can see it just has one mounting bracket here and then uh, a bolt head there and on the other side the that bracket is over here and then on this side there's just a bolt i still gotta cut uh the bolt it's a little log but uh that was just put together mocking it up also tomorrow i'm gonna weld a bracket for the drum brakes probably be able to have some brakes in the front uh, last time i had brakes in the front but i was using uh let's see oh yeah i was using one of these right here to hold it and the first freaking i went around the block and the first second i pressed the brake it ripped it broke it started flapping and it just it was a, a little chaotic luckily i didn't bend the spoke and i bend the bracket that i made and like i said it was just clamped on with that hose and then i made a cheap bracket i, I do better <sighs> but yeah i already made the bracket 